Once upon a time, the late 1800s, there was a young physicist named Augustin Jean Fresnel. He was fascinated by the properties of light and lenses and spent much of his time conducting experiments in his laboratory. One day, Fresnel had a breakthrough. He discovered that by reducing the thickness of a lens and creating ridges on its surface, he could still bend light effectively and produce a clear image. This design, which he called the Fresnel lens, was significantly lighter and thinner than traditional lenses, making it ideal for various applications. Before Fresnel lenses existed, lighthouses utilized large, heavy, bulky lenses that were very inefficient. Fresnel's lens was lighter and more compact, allowing lighthouses to project a bright, concentrated beam of light over a greater distance. This made it possible for ships to navigate safely at night and during inclement weather, reducing the number of shipwrecks and saving many, many lives. It's estimated that Fresnel's invention helped save millions of ships at sea over several centuries. This bending of light was called the Fresnel effect, and it has much further reaching implications than just lighthouses. But to understand why this effect is so significant in game design, we first need to understand how it works. I'll keep this simple. The key is the angle of incidence. The angle of incidence is the angle between your line of sight and the surface of the object you are looking at. The principle of the Fresnel effect is simple. Steep angle equals weak reflection, shallow angle equals strong reflection. When light hits a boundary between two materials, it can either reflect off the surface or bend and enter the second material. The Fresnel equations help determine how much light will do each. For example, if you look straight down at a body of water, most of the light from the sun will go into the water, but if you look at the water from any angle, more light will reflect into the air because the angle has changed. Steep angle, weak reflection, shallow angle, strong reflection. Got it? But what exactly does this have to do with video games? Creating realistic reflections on transparent surfaces in video games is extremely important for making games feel realistic and immersive. To achieve this effect, Fresnel shaders are used in many games to achieve accurate reflection and refraction. Just like how Fresnel works in real life, a Fresnel shader calculates the amount of light reflected by a surface based on the angle of incidence using the Fresnel equation. The shader uses the surface normal and incoming light direction to determine that angle of incidence, which is used to look up the reflectivity in the Fresnel curve. This reflectivity is then used to modify the final color of the surface. To show you exactly what I mean, let's use an example from my favorite gambling game, Genshin Impact. We can see to the bottom of the water if we look at any body of water from the top down. However, reflections begin appearing in the water if you start angling the camera to a lower angle. This effect is caused by the Fresnel shader calculating the angle of incidence and adjusting the values as the angle changes, adding more or less reflectivity. On curved surfaces, the angle of incidence gets steeper towards the edges of the form. This is especially useful for glass materials, where parts of the mesh directly facing the camera are fully transparent while the edges are more reflective. But as longtime viewers of Stylized Station know, game artists can get way more creative than that. Fresnel has become a crucial tool for video game developers looking to add visual impact to their unique effects and attacks. This is especially true for games that feature magic-based attacks. By utilizing Fresnel, instead of accurately simulating the reflection and refraction of light as it would appear in a realistic shader, the edges of these attacks can be given a unique glowing appearance that sets them apart from the rest of the game's visuals. Goku's Spirit Bomb in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is a great visual example of how Fresnel can be used in a stylized way. Creating an effect like this might take some time, but the basic idea is straightforward with using Fresnel. The key to this effect is that the Spirit Bomb is actually a 3D spherical mesh, which allows it to utilize a Fresnel shader to add glow to the parts of the mesh that aren't pointing directly at the camera. This edge glow effect has a bunch of very cool uses. Overwatch is an excellent example of a game that utilizes a lot of Fresnel effects in their VFX. 
Zarya's bubble shield ability, Winston's deployable shield, Diva's self-destruct ultimate, and even Hanzo's dragon all use Fresnel to add glow to the edges of its VFX to help it stand out in a game where there are a million things going on at once on the screen. The Fresnel effect can also be used in stylized games to create a silhouette around a character to make it stand out visually. For example, in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Link has a distinctive Fresnel outline that emphasizes the contours of his body. This makes him stand out against the background and helps illuminate the character in darker environments. To add clarity to characters in Valorant, the game artists added extra lighting on the grazing angles of the character, which are the angles facing away from you, to create a silhouette effect. This light is colored and styled differently for allies and enemies. Enemies have a red Fresnel outline, and allies have a neutral blue Fresnel outline. In addition to being applied to characters in video games, this edge highlight effect can also be used in creating landscape materials to add depth and definition to terrain features such as mountains and ridges. This helps to separate the foreground and the background, making it easier for the player to navigate and understand the environment. I first encountered this effect in stylized video games such as Genshin Impact and Breath of the Wild, where I noticed that when the sun shone over the landscape at specific angles, the edges of the landscape would pop out. Many people don't notice this, so I thought it was a pretty interesting thing to include. I'd say hop into the game and check it out yourself. I'm sure many other games use this landscape technology as well. So yeah, Fresnel is pretty cool.